How you doing everyone? Scott here and as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be talking about the new Motley Crue film The Dirt which is now in the production phase. Um, can't wait for this. It's basically it's based on their 2001 autobiography The Dirt Confessions of the World's Most Notorious Rock Band. Um, New York Times bestseller um, written by the four band members, um, managers, friends etc give their insight into what happened as well and it basically covers from when the band was created until I would say looking back the halfway point 1998-1999 um, until they kind of split for four or five years before their uh, reunion tour in 2005 so you hear about the drugs, the drink, the parties, the sex, the girlfriends, the deaths uh, Vince's car crash, Nicky's overdose, uh, mixed spine problems, ankylosing spondylitis. Um, I mean, when you when you look at the book, you think to yourself, how much of this is actually accurate? Because you were pretty much smashed out your face for ten years, so how can you all remember this? And plus, when you read the dirt, and then you go and read the other autobiographies by the band, some stories don't gel. You think that was told differently in the dirt than it was to see Vince's account and his autobiography so it's a bit of a uh, I don't know if it's a bit of um, posturing in the in the book which I, I, must, I assume there probably is but all the same I think it's going to be a great movie nonetheless so much drama to um, put on screen so about a month ago we finally got the news that the movie was officially in its production phase and the names of the main cast were released and you have no idea how excited I am as a huge Motley Crue fan I cannot wait for this especially when you take into account how long this idea has been floating about I mean it must be at least 10 years 10, 12, 15 years I mean the, the book's now nearly 17 years old which is hard to believe but um, it's been through several directors, several production companies, it's had a number of script rewrites but I'm not surprised because if you think about it, Nicky Six is going to be at the helm of this project and he's going to be a huge controlling factor in what goes in and what gets left out and um, he said that before I was looking at a interview with Nicky a couple of days ago and the interview is about 10 years old and the interviewer asks him about the dirt and about the movie if it's coming out and he was he was basically saying that they had two big directors come in wanted to do the film but they just didn't have the right frame of mind for the film they wanted to put stuff in that they didn't really think was relevant or didn't really think that would add to the movie so they can add to get rid of them so he basically said that there was no rush to make the wrong movie which I think is rightly so I mean it's their life it's their legacy you really want it done right um, and I know there'll be, there'll be some people out there saying oh but they shouldn't do a Motley Crue film they should do an Aussie film or a Motorhead film or whatever but it's not like somebody's choosing to do a Motley Crue film it's Motley Crue themselves that are putting this film together a bit egotistical but fair enough um, if that's what they want to do but I'm all the same, very excited to see it. Um, so, on to the cast. Playing Nicky Six, you have English actor Douglas Booth, who's probably best known for um, starring in the BBC adaptation of Great Expectations, and more interestingly, he played Boy George in the Culture Club biopic, um, Worried About the Boy, in 2010. So he'll be bringing some... Um, good stuff to the table as he's already been in the, the frame of mind of playing that kind of kind of bothered uh, rock star, pop star that's in the limelight so um, I think his performance will be pretty decent. Um, next up you have the American rapper Machine Gun Kelly who's going to be playing Tommy Lee. Um, a really great choice I think as well. Um, he's got the, the right build for it, very tall, lanky, covered in tattoos, um, that kind of just doesn't give a shit attitude as well. 
probably the most inexperienced of the actors, but has done small roles in films and stuff. He's mostly known for his music, but still looking forward to seeing that him in it. Um, and next up you have Daniel Weber playing Vince Neil, Australian actor, who played Lee Harvey Oswald in the American series, um, what was it, 11 and he also played an army cadet, Lewis Wilson, in the Netflix Punisher series. And this film's also being released by Netflix, so that's always good as well. Um, who's next? Oh yeah, Mick Mars. You have the Welsh actor, Owen Rion, who's going to be playing Mick Mars, which I thought was a great pick as well. You'll know him mostly for playing Ramsay Bolton in Game of Thrones. And uh, yeah, I think he's he'll, he'll be the most experienced actor coming to the table, I think. Um, he's done a lot of stuff and he's a, a great actor as well, so really pleased about that and I think he'll capture Mick pretty well. And uh, last of all, you've got the director, who's it's going to be Jeff Tremaine, who directed the Jackass movies. Um, I think he's been on board for at least four or five years. He actually sat down with Motley Crue with them on their in their press conference when they released the tour dates for their their final tour basically and I'm sure he produced the the documentary uh, along with the live DVD as well so he's been in the fold for a long long time so putting all those guys together I'm looking really looking forward to it and I think it'll be a film that'll really appeal to a lot of people not even massive Motley Crue fans just just rock fans, music fans in general, because there is a story to be told there that I think is going to be pretty epic. And if they capture it right on film, it could be a winner. Um, so I think all we can do now is just sit back and wait for it to be released, see the final result. If it's crap, then it's crap. If it's good, then great. Um, what I would say is I've been following this on social media, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and you go to these interviews that were 10 years ago and people are moaning saying get this film out, we'd hurry up and get the film out, we're sick of hearing about the film, just get it done. And when it comes down to money and stuff, I mean you don't know the ins and outs and the the, the back and forth of all the stuff that goes on with like production and films and all that stuff. But I'm sure they would have done it if they had the chance but there's obviously things that have come up that they couldn't. Um, so now they've released it, they're releasing them. Um, photos and from the from the set they've they're now well into well i don't think they're well into buying they're definitely at least a month or something into production and now all you hear is uh, comments on the photos on facebook saying oh this film's going to be shit and um, the hair's not right or they don't look anything like the the real people it's like well what would you rather have would you rather somebody come in who looks exactly like nikki six and can't act for shit and the movie's ruined, it becomes a farce. Or do you want somebody who's got a really great background in acting, who can put in a great performance and kind of resembles a person when they've got the wig on and the clothes? I mean, I'd rather, I'd much rather have that. I'd much rather it be a good film than just somebody standing there looking exactly like the like the band members. And the best, <laughs> the best comment I saw, I think it was on Facebook. Somebody just wrote. Why can't they just play themselves? Uh, because they're fucking old. It's like Vince, go and lose five hundred pounds, and get your get your arse into those white leather pants. It's like it's never going to happen. Like think about what you're saying. It's got to be done by actors, and I'm glad that they did it the way they did it as well because they're not huge actors. They're not um, like Hollywood stars. They're kind of they're good actors, but they're not you know, they're not superstars. So I think they've done it the right way and I'm really looking forward to it. So that's all I'm going to say about it just now. Um, all I can say is I'm really looking forward to it. If I get an update, I'll give you guys an update. And uh, yeah, the duck finally coming to fruition. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Are you looking forward to the film? Have you read the book? Um, let me know what you think anyway and I'll see you guys in the next video cheers